Hola mi amigos y mi amigas, welcome back to Metro Moore's Numero 6, and I'm speaking Spanish because I feel like it. You got a problem with that? Exactly. So anyways, I'm using the team for the second Metro Moore's, I believe. It's that I added a few new guys onto the team, so anyway, Blue Flash uses Metronome, and he gets an uproar. Which is actually kind of bad, but it's, well, one, even though it did quite a bit of damage to Weezing, a boar is not that strong of an attack, and because, and, um, Latios can't do anything except uproar because he's, like, really mad or something. Then we've all gets freaking Ice Fang right here. We've all got really lucky in this fight. Look at that, he got freaking Ice Fang! Like, seriously, look, like, we've all can't even learn that attack normally. But yet, it's the same type as him. That's just, that's crazy right there. <clears throat> then anyway, Horn, hence its name, uses Rock Polish, which is really good because Rapierger is really slow. Then, you know, Uproar. Making an Uproar, yeah, like it. Yeah. Then I try to send out Fart Nugget, but I fail because he's already dead. Then, so um, I send in... UFO, my Magnazone, and yeah, Horn. That's like the that's like the perfect nickname for a female Rhyperior. Then Latios uses Uproar, does nothing. Then Weavile uses Metronom, and he gets Leer, which lowers my our physical defense. Which kind of sucks because both of Rhyperior and Magnazone both have relatively high. De well, Rhyperior has freakishly high defense. Magnazone has relatively high physical defense. <clears throat> and Facade did nothing because you know he's not affected by like poison, burn, paralysis, or whatever. Then I use Icy Wind, which is really good because not only does Lot is weak to it, but it also lowers their speed. Which is pretty good. <clears throat> and Blue Flash is making an uproar because he's really peed off. And this battle is around 17 minutes long. And um, Rhyperior gets Faint Attack. Would have been a lot more useful if it used it on Latios, but whatever. And I really like how Rhyperior attacks. He's, he like swifts back and forth like really fast and then basically just headbutts Weavile. That's pretty cool actually. So then Latios kills himself by the life orb. Yeah, that's very sad. Then Weavile uses Vacuum Wave. It's a critical hit and it's a lot of damage. Then Metronome and he gets Moonlight, which restores me to full HP, which is really useful. Then they send out send out uh, Squirgoyle, their Glide Score. Like glass screw like is like a it's like um a mix between a vampire, a scorpion, and a gargoyle. Then I use Crush Claw, and surprisingly, it did not knock out Weavile. Then Glide Score uses a Metronome, and he gets Brine. Basically, just throws up all over Rhyperior, and he dot and she dies. Like getting killed, yeah, like getting killed just because you got puked on. That's crazy right there. <laughs> then Weavile uses his metronome and he gets Psych Up, which is really pointless. Because, like, because of the Leer, low, because, because um, Weavile used Leer, it lowered his physical defense as well, but I get Lava Plume, and it does a bunch of damage to Glasscore and easily finishes off Weavile. And Glasscore also gets burned, which is really good, which cuts his attack stat in half. 
even though that glide score is more defensive than offensive. Then yeah, like um, I had a little bit of trouble trying to decide who I wanted to send out, so then I decided to send an air horn, my ex Bloud. And she sends in um, Red Thunder, their scissor. I wanted I wanted to name it Red Lightning, you know, because of the anime. Except um, Red Lightning does not fit, so Red Thunder. So I just went for Red Thunder. Then Glasgow uses Surf right here, but Glasgow has like really low special attack. So yeah, yeah does absolutely nothing to my both of my Pokemon and his teammate. Okay. And I get Octazooka, which is Octillery's signature move. Then Scizor uses Thundershock. It, it did nothing. Like, what do you expect? Does Scissor look like a special attacker to you? Then, UFO uses Mega Punch, which does not make any sense because he doesn't even have any hands. How can you punch somebody? Maybe you can punch him with his magnets or something. So, like, um. See, so like, um. Glass score is probably at, like, 1 HP. Just, like, look how low its health is. It's going to get knocked out this turn no matter what, if it gets it, yeah. Then I, he uses block, and so Magnezone can't escape now. Then, Explode uses charge. Which will, which raises his special defense and it will make, and if he gets an electric type attack next turn, it will make it, it will be more powerful. Then Scizor uses Bullet Punch, which is not awkward at all. Then Magazone uses Faint Attack. I love that attack. And he dies. And the she's in a um, Magmus, their Heatran, or Heatran. I don't know. Is it Heatran or Heatran? I've always pronounced it as Heatran. So Heatran uses Leaf Storm. <laughs> That's like the complete opposite, like fire, like a fire type Pokemon using a Grass type attack. Well, I know the Infernape can run Grass Nut, but. Like a Heatran using Leaf Storm. That that's just wrong. You'd never see a walking piece of magma do an attack like that. Then Scizor uses payback. It did it actually did a lot more than I expected it to do, but whatever. It does more damage as Scizor got hit on the same turn though, but whatever. Then he Magma uses revenge <laughs> revenge, like Heatran didn't really do anything to him, so I don't understand why Magazine wants revenge on Heatran. Maybe for killing Airhorn or something. So I send in Kamehameha, my Lucario. Yeah, I named it Kamehameha. Why you hate Biatch? So Lucario uses Metronome. And he uses Furious Swipes, and I wouldn't really understand how he could learn to do that attack because he doesn't even have any claws. But yet, yeah, he can learn Metal Claw. Then he uses Fling and throws his Life Orb away, so like he doesn't, he won't take recoil damage from Life Orb, which is kind of uh, which is good for them, but not for me. Then Scizor uses Slack Off, and basically just. Get, he basically gets all of his HP back, even though there's still a big gap in his health bar. Then Magnezone uses Tickle. I don't understand how a Magnezone could tickle somebody. Doesn't really have anything to tickle somebody with. Maybe with electricity, but I wouldn't really understand how that would tickle in the first place, but... Pokemon logic. 
until the Karyu uses Cross Chop, which is not awkward at all. But, and completely destroys Scizor. Then Heat Ran. Or Heat Train, I, I don't give a crap. Then he uses Pain Split. Which was a bit. Which was bad on my part, but good on his part, even though he didn't get back a bunch of HP, but whatever. Then I used Grass Knot. Did like one damage because of the Thomas 4 resistance. And they send in Why You Hatin' their Flygon. And then he uses Takedown. It does a bit of damage, but not much. Then the car uses the most, like, uses Splash, like, trying to be a magic card for Halloween this year, Lucario, even though the Halloween is already over. It's been over for about a week right now, I think. Yeah, and Magazine uses Poison Fang, like, doesn't even have a mouth. How can he bite somebody? <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. Getting bit by something that doesn't have a mouth. <laughs> then Flygon gets low kick. It's not really a kick, it's more like a low dragon claw or whatever, a low headbutt or something. I don't know. He didn't even kick him. But whatever. Then Heatran uses Sand Tomb, which would have been pretty bad because of the you know, times for a week and two ground attacks for Magnezone. The Magnezone uses Comet Punch, but it fit, but it misses. So I send in my last guy, which is Cressley, my Cresselia. And Magazone has no PP for Metronome left, so he's going to be stuck to using Struggle. Then Flygon uses Water Pulse and finishes off UFO. It take it. it's so it's one Pokemon against two Pokemon, and I'll, I'll be surprised. Cresselia actually survived quite a long time in this battle. Then I use Hidden Power, except... It's hidden power fire because you know he trans flash fire activated and yeah that was hidden power fire right there. So then he train uses moonlight and basically just restores all of his HP. Then Flygon uses it, uses heal bell, which is really pointless because none of them are suffering from a status inflictment. That I use metronome and I get magnet bomb and it didn't do all that much to fly gun then he train uses agility Then he then he gets Rock Slide. I think he can learn that. I'm not entirely sure, but why would you teach a Heat Trainer physical attack like that? Like seriously. So then Flygon uses Flamethrower and basically and burn basically just singed by Flamethrower. I'm trying to make that an internet meme. Singed by Flamethrower. That I use fling and I get rid of my life orb, so I won't take recoil damage from it, which is pretty good. Although I won't be doing as much damage, but whatever. So then he uses metronome and he gets dynamic punch, but it misses. The 
Flygon use, uh, uses. He uses Weather Ball. Uh, excuse me. Kind of look like like the moment that I burp, burped. It kind of made it kind of made it look like that Cresselia burped. Then Cresselia uses Double Slap. I don't understand how that she could pull that off because she doesn't have any hands. More like double headbutt or something. I don't know. The end of the battle is getting closer by the uh, Yawning again. Yeah, he, he just uses dragon claw. More like dragon headbutt. Or dragon butt, but never mind never mind. Then Flygon uses a wing attack. Does like five damage. <laughs> then he gets knocked out from the recoil, the life orb. Then I use Giga Drain, which is really pointless because he's at full HP and Giga Drain did nothing because of the times four resistance. So it's two. So it's a legendary versus a legendary. Who will win? Then he he shins all out of moves. So he just uses struggle. It didn't do all that much to Cresselia. So I was sitting there thinking that I had a chance because it didn't do all that much, and he shin took like a lot of recoil damage. So I use wing attack. <laughs> like Cresselia doesn't even well like technically those are not it's her wings, but. I don't understand how he could pull that off. I don't know. Then struggle. Basically, just headbutts Cresselia. And then I get to Aerial Ace. Like Cresselia got like a lot of moves that he trained has resistance to, which kind of sucks. So like Cresselia is almost dead and Heat Ran. Oh Heat Ran, you're a jerk. You struggle and you knock out Cresselia. I hate you for that. So down goes Cresselia. So yeah, Cresselia got a bunch of crappy moves. A lot of them were was head resistance to Heatran, but anyway, see you guys in the next Metronome Wars battle. See you guys then.